I think we're going to start now. So for today's meeting, um, we are going to discuss about speaking skills. So the first one, um, we often speak for a long time without being interrupted. Tell your partner which of the following you have done. So um, I think I'm going to ask uh, each one of you Oh, by the way, Rati, you haven't uh, introduced yourself. Maybe you would like to introduce yourself first. You can say what's your name and then where you live and then are you working or are you studying? Okay, uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Putu Rati. <laughs> Uh, my nickname is Rati. I'm from uh, in Bandung, and uh, I work a job as a general practitioner. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what? Sorry, what's your nickname? Panggilnya apa? Rati. Rati. Okay. Okay. So, um, have you ever told a story to friends in a cafe? Yeah. Okay. How about number two? Made a presentation in the class or at work? I also have. Okay. Left a long message on telephone answering machine. Never do that. Okay. So the last one. Explain a complicated situation to someone. All right. So from the four uh, above, they have one thing in common, which, which is you have to think about what you are going to say and organize your ideas. So when you telling a story or made a presentation, etc., um, you think first, right, what you are going to say, <coughs> and then. Um, the chronological events that you want to tell. So, part two of the speaking exam tests your ability to speak for a longer period of time. Um, you will be given a topic card. So, this is the example of the topic card. And you should speak uh, about all the points on the card. So... Um, you will be given time one to two minutes for speaking and it's like a monologue so you try to speak uh, with your own like you speak with yourself to the examiner describe a job that you or someone you know have done you should say what the job was what you had to do exactly if you would do this job in the future and explain what you liked and didn't like about it so you can take notes first uh, for two minutes answering this card yeah. after that you will have to talk about it do you have any question? Okay, have you done? Not yet, miss.
So the job can be your own job or someone you know. It's like maybe your parents or your aunt or your uncle or your friend's job. I think that's kind of easy, right? Rati, have you done it? Yes, miss. Let me know if you have done, yeah. Miss, aku udah selesai. Okay, you can start. Okay, the job I want to describe is my mom's job. So my mom's job is a hairdresser. She own a hair salon. She usually styling someone hair like coloring it, cutting it, and many else. And if in the future I will become a hairdresser too. I guess I'm gonna style my hair as cool as it would be. Maybe I'm gonna dye my hair blue. Wow. Um, what I like about this job is I'm imagining when someone trusting their hair with me. I guess it's a cool thing. And what I didn't like is I have to risk someone's expectation towards me. 
Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you. Um, can I ask a few questions? Uh, sure, sure. Okay. Um, have you ever helped her um, doing her job, maybe in the salon or something? Uh, I have my mom teach me some things in hairstyling. Mm -hmm. She teach me how to dye hair, how to cut some hair. Okay. Uh, and um, do you want to study about it, or you just uh, you just like doing it, and uh, maybe like doing it, do it in your free time? Actually, my mom ever asked me to do this job, <laughs> but I have another dream, so. Okay. I'm still thinking about. What is it? What do you want to uh, have as your dream job? Um, I want to be a business consultant. Mm -hmm. I want to be a consultant. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Yeah. Uh. Okay, Zefio. We are doing a speaking based on the topic card so describing a job that you or someone you know have done um, so this is what you have to answer you will speak for one to two minutes you can prepare for that so Rati have you done it? are you finished? you can start when you're ready are uh, satisfied with the extent of the disease and I don't like to the patient uh, patient does not take the medication regularly okay is that it? so um, as a general practitioner is it the same like nurse? no doctor oh are, you are a doctor? Oh, I see. Do you specialize in any uh, particular specialty? <laughs> no. Oh, I see. So, general doctor. General doctor. Okay. Mm, uh, how long have you been a doctor? Uh, and now, uh, Ah, I see. So, uh, why did you choose this career path as a doctor? Because uh, I love uh, for to uh, 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 knowledge to the disease for the for disease the patient. Mm -hmm. What is it you want to say? You can speak bahasa Indonesia. Uh, okay, pengetahuan apa pokoknya tentang penyakit itu luas banget sih, Miss. Oh, well, uh, okay, it has a broad kind of disease and you want to give uh, Are you like teaching in doctor or are you uh, like practical? Okay, so you want to cure the people that has disease? Yes. Uh, okay. Good, thank you. Thank you. 
Zepio, have you done it? Oh, wait, miss. Okay. Uh, ini uh, pekerjaannya kayak uh, berandai aja kan ya bisa? Hmm, bisa pekerjaan sendiri atau orang yang dikenal gitu Oh Mm-mm. Okay, you can start. Uh, my aunt work as an HR in the company, and her job involves selecting staff who apply to the company and improving the quality of human resource within the company. Uh, what she likes about this is that she can learn a lot from many people, and what she doesn't like is having to interact with many people. Uh, so. Would you do this job in the future? Sorry, Miss. Putus, putus. Would you do this job in the future? Do you want to do it uh, like her? Her. Um, yes. Mm, okay. And uh, do you know any? Um, specific trainings or uh, major that you need to take f- to get this job? Uh, I think uh, the major is psychology or communication uh, because uh, if you want to be uh, HR is you must have a uh, good communication skill and public speaking because you uh, need to talk with many people yeah that's right and um, do you know anyone other than your aunt that uh, has this job as an HR or only your aunt I think it's only my aunt okay um mm. Yeah, thank you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you find difficult about the task? Ada yang sulit nggak dari task yang ini? Paling kayak ngembangin jawabannya aja sih, guys. Jadi kadang masih terpaku sama kayak pertanyaannya. Jadi yang dijawab cuma sebatas dari apa pertanyaan itu. <laughs> Jadi kalau ada card kayak gini, um, sebenarnya jangan terpaku sama uh, poinnya ini juga. Cuman emang poin yang di sini harus dijawab semua gitu waktu speaking. So um, try to talk for at least more than one minutes. Um, and if you talk more. Uh, it doesn't matter if your grammar is wrong you can correct it after or you worry about if your pronunciation is wrong um, you should give more um, story to 
answer the card and if the time is up usually the examiner will stop you uh, and then after that ask follow up questions in the follow up questions you should only spend a few seconds answering it so the notes that you can make from the card um, also try to give it like a short answer so you don't have to write every single thing that you want to speak but like the point what you want to uh, speak in your speaking if you do not understand something on the card you can ask the examiner for clarification you can use your english to impress the examiner even when you do not understand so here a student does not understand the word exactly Look at the notes she has made on the card and read the question she asked to check the information. So, in, describe a job that you or someone you know. Uh, in here, someone you know, the student can ask, can I talk about my father's job? And then, exactly, like, what do you mean by exactly? Mm, like, is it every single thing that um, this job uh, responsible? Or in general and then if if the student doesn't like uh, doesn't have anything that he or she didn't like about this job um, how should I answer it you can ask something like that to the examiner so for example I'm sorry here it says what you had to do exactly by exactly do you mean what were the different things i did when i was working for example if i wash the dishes or serve customer <clears throat> something like that um so here are some useful express expression you can use by blank do you mean blank so um something that you don't understand from this if I understand this correctly, it means that so in other words, it's saying so is it okay if I talk about it says here blank but I blank uh, now you have to practice um, asking questions by using the expression in the box um, and you can ask about the card so, for example, um, it says here that um, if you would do this job in the future, but I had this job in the past. Is it okay? For example, making questions something like that. Um, so, Agiska, can you give one example? Mm -hmm. What if I don't want to do this job in the future? Uh, can you use the expression in the box here? Uh, what if I don't want to do this job in the future? Is it okay if I talk about other job? Okay, yes, yes. Uh, Rati, how about you? Can you try to ask? Or the view first? Can you ask using the expression? Ayo, siapa dulu yang bisa yang udah bikin 
dari ekspresi ini mengenai kartu yang di sini ya. You can like do so is it okay if I talk about uh, my nephew's job or by by someone you know do you mean um it's it can be my grandfather as well Okay, can you try to make a question, Rati? Hello. Ya. Oke. Yeah, you can ask that. The view, can you try? Oke, okay, I guess we're gonna move on to the third practice, organizing your ideas. It is important to organize your thoughts clearly and logically before you speak. Treat the student notes A to C. The keywords have been underlined. Listen to the three students doing the exam and number the cards in order uh, in which you hear them. Listen for the keywords that each student wants to include. Okay, so which one is the first one, second, and third? Listen carefully to the audio. Jobs and job hunting. Speaking. 3.1. One. Okay, let's see. The job I have at the moment is my first job. I am a waitress in a coffee bar. When I started, I only cleaned the tables. It was a little boring because I did the same thing all the time. But after a short time, I got a promotion. You know, a higher position. Now I make coffee and serve the customers at the cash register. It is more interesting. Would I do it in the future? I think, yes, why not? If I am a student, it is a good job to earn some money. The hours are very flexible. It is convenient in that way. What do I like? Hmm. Well, my colleagues are very nice, and so is my boss. They are very friendly. But what I really don't like is the uniform. It is a little stupid with this hat. <laughs> Two. Before I came back to my studies, I was a teacher in a primary school. My students were young, perhaps five or six years old. 
I taught students many, many different subjects. For example, we studied reading and writing and mathematics, uh, art and music and others, but music was my favourite. I was a little like a mother in some ways. I listened to their problems sometimes. I enjoyed my job very much, but now I want to change. I want to do something completely different in the future, but I'm not sure what exactly. I liked teaching very much, especially because I love children, but I did not like the administration. There were a lot of papers to write out every day, and I'm not very good at office work. 3. I used to be a chef in a kitchen in a busy restaurant. The restaurant was in a hotel, and sometimes I cooked for 40 people, uh, guests, in the hotel. I liked my job and would like to do it in the future but especially if I could have my own restaurant. I liked it because it was creative and you could use your imagination. But the thing that I didn't like was it was very hard work. When I finished my work, I was usually exhausted. I was only able to go home and sleep. Okay. Did you get all the answers or do you need to listen again? For A, do you know what um, which speaker? One, two, or three? Number two? Yeah, two. How about B? Number three. Number three. Number three. So? The last one is number one. one. Okay. Okay. Mm, so listen again to the students doing the test and cross off the points on their card as they discuss them. Were there any points that they didn't cover? So. Mm, in here. Um, take a look at the, their notes and if they cover all of the things that they write in the notes and what they didn't cover Unit 3 Jobs and Job Hunting Speaking 3.1 1 Okay, let's see The job I have at the moment is my first job I am a waitress in a coffee bar. When I started, I only cleaned the tables. It was a little boring because I did the same thing all the time. But after a short time, I got a promotion. You know, a higher position? Now I make coffee and serve the customers at the cash register. It is more interesting. Would I do it in the future? I think, yes, why not? If I am a student, it is a good job to earn some money. The hours are very flexible. It is convenient in that way. What do I like? Hmm. Well, my colleagues are very nice, and so is my boss. They are very friendly. But what I really don't like is the uniform. It is a little stupid with this hat. <laughs> Two. Before I came back to my studies, I was a teacher in a primary school. My students were young, perhaps five or six years old. I taught students many, many different subjects. For example, we studied reading and writing and mathematics, uh, art and music and others, but music was my favorite. I was a little like a mother in some ways. I listened to their problems sometimes. I enjoyed my job very much but now I want to change. I want to do something completely different in the future, but I'm not sure what exactly. I liked teaching very much, especially because I love children, but I did not like the administration. There were a lot of papers to write out every day, and I'm not very good at office work. 3.2 
three. I used to be a chef in a kitchen in a busy restaurant. The restaurant was in a hotel, and sometimes I cooked for 40 people, uh, guests, in the hotel. I liked my job and would like to do it in the future, but especially if I could have my own restaurant. I liked it because it was creative and you could use your imagination. But the thing that I didn't like was it was very hard work. When I finished my work, I was usually exhausted. I was only able to go home and sleep. Did you get what is missing from the notes or do you need to listen again? Listen again or not? Hello, for A? Mm -hmm. She didn't mention the piano. Anything else? Uh, I guess that's it. And for B? For B, he didn't mention about enjoy wedding parties. Okay, yeah, he missed it. And then for C? She didn't mention the three month being cash register. Okay. Yeah. Good job. So for um so for making notes, you can make notes like this to answer it. So only like um the what is it the point the point that you want to speak. Um. You can even write in your own language, so in Bahasa Indonesia, but you shouldn't forget to underline the keywords, the keywords. Okay, now you have to make a similar notes for yourself. Underline the points that you definitely want to include. So, what you need to do um, write a notes like this about the job that you had just uh, spoke about Uh, I think for this you can like type it down in WhatsApp maybe and then post in the group Jadi bikin notes berdasarkan apa nih sorry Berdasarkan yang tadi jawab udah dijawab yang ini um, ya yeah. Yang pertanyaan ini tadi jawabannya apa bisa dibikin notes kayak gini Ini contohnya 